sometimes you encounter a film that you think is going to be bad but it turns out good and then there's that time you think the movie's going to be good but it ends up being uh, bad so in this case um, I would compare this film to uh, hoping that you'd get the pr uh, present you want for Christmas but you end up getting socks so it was a movie that I thought was going to be a great film but it turned out to be just an average and below average film. I mean, the cast was absolutely phenomenal. They had Sean Connery, Diane Cannon, Martin Balsman. Uh, they had uh, Ralph Meeker and Alan King. Now, some of these actors I do know of, um, but um, uh, there was also Christopher Walken in there. So I thought, man, like this film is going to be terrific. Uh, this film is about... Um, a man that's uh, gone to prison and uh, Sean Connery plays John Duke Anderson. He's a burglar released after 10 years and finally he gets in touch with his old girlfriend um, who is Ingrid, again played by Diane Cannon. She lives in a high class apartment block in New York City so what does he say? Heck, you know what, I'm going to clear this place out. So he wants to perform an operation where they're going <clears> to <throat> go room to room and they're going to rob everybody in this building. So eventually he ends up getting financed by a mafia boss who gathers um, a bunch of his men for the crew. But um, he also uh, wants Anderson to take out a man as well in the process. Now, the film uh, was one that had mixed reviews. They had a budget of $3 million and again, they didn't do well. They only made $5 million. No surprise at that. Uh, this film was one that I um, I didn't like too much. I, I wouldn't recommend people go watch it unless you're a Sean Connery fan and uh, or a Christopher Walken or Alan King fan and you just want to check it off your list. That's simply why I watched it. But it's not a film that was uh, captivating or memorable in any way that um, would inspire me to recommend it to other people. So... Um, if I had to rank the film, I would uh, give this film uh, a 5 out of 10. I would watch it again. I um, liked the actual concept of the film. The, the story was terrific. It's just it was, it was kind of slow and um, I felt like they were spinning their tires uh, throughout a lot of the film. The actual heist and the, uh, the robbing at the end of the film was just it was prolonged it was it was kind of long for me I was expecting it to be a little quicker um, but uh, anyways that is my review of the Anderson tapes um, if you guys like my review give me a thumbs up um, if you thought different then comment below and if you'd like to keep an eye out for other reviews that I will be doing then uh, tap that subscribe button and I will be posting daily reviews of films that I do watch so thank you again everybody that keeps tuning in and goodbye until next time